Hey Matt 31, I have a few announcements to get to. The biggest one is that for our midterm, our second midterm next Thursday, I want to give you the option, it's not required, but the option to take this online. Um, doing online teaching is just, it's something that the math department has been talking about and exploring for a little while, so I wanted to pilot doing an online version of the test. So if you want to do this, send me a message. Like, let's let's make sure we're touching base so we're real clear on what the expectations are and there's no miscommunication there. Um, it would occur at the same time as the face-to-face -face class um, or the face-to-face -face midterm. So next Thursday between um, 1, when do we meet? <laughs> 1 30 and 3. I think I gave an extra 15 or 20 minutes on the online version just because you might have to upload some stuff. Um, it, it requires a Zoom recording um, because I, I could go into this really not interesting story about how LPC has certain technology um, that we don't. Blah, blah. It's actually, it's not interesting. It requires a Zoom recording. So anyways, um, like I said, if you are open to that option, let me know. Um, some of you in your discussions have been using the math editor. Um, so if you're comfortable with that, then maybe trying this, this online version might be something you want to explore. And again, it's optional. I want I want you to hear like you don't have to do this and I, I would say like for me personally as a student I would go take it face to face um, it's just maybe because I'm it's my generation I, I like things face to face but I really don't want to let my bias affect um, what might be more helpful for you guys so I want to I want to make sure you have that option um, and then just a couple other quick things I'm, I'm posting or I'm attaching the discussion solution to this announcement and really take a look at the range the range was super sneaky. Um, and so I want to make sure you're seeing where I'm getting that range value from. But for the most part, we were really solid on finding the errors in the discussion. We just need to clean up a little bit of the notation. Um, and then one other thing, um, shout out to Jerry for catching a typo on section 6.5, example 5a. Um, I meant to make all the logarithms in that problem have the same base. Um, I think two of them have base 4 and one of them has base 5. And anyways, if if it was done as written, you could only combine the, the logarithmic expressions with the same base. And um, so that's that's a typo on my part. I apologize. Um, but that that's out there. And then make sure you get your interact report um, in by this evening or the message report just so I can make sure all the partners are paired up. So those are my quick announcements. I hope you are enjoying your Tuesday. Um, and like I said, if you want to take the midterm to online, please reach out to me and um, let's touch base. So you would see um, inside of Canvas, you see two midterms, uh, two midterm twos. One of them's for the face-to-face -face version and one for the online version. So you don't have two midterm twos. You only have the one, but you'll pick which, which version you want to do. All right, so email with me with any questions. Thanks so much, guys. Take care, and I will see most of you next Thursday. Bye.